Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the ZemiSmart Toyo Wi-Fi based V30 video doorbell. We'll run through an unboxing, step you through the setup process, then integrate this into Home Assistant. Then I'll give you my unbiased thoughts on the V30 and if I believe this video doorbell is for you. So let's dive on in and see what you get in the box. In the box, you get the video doorbell itself, which is 140 millimeters high by 45.5 millimeters wide and 27.5 millimeters deep, and a waterproof case that is slightly larger to accommodate the doorbell. The waterproof case has a slightly larger hooded section at the top to afford some level of protection. Above the batteries is a multifunction button that allows for both reset and pairing of the device. Thoughtfully included into the package is a double-sided sticker for temporary connection to smooth surfaces. If you wish to mount the device more permanently, then five screws and raw plugs are included. To secure the device into its waterproof case, an Allen key and screws are included. This will prevent those light-fingered people permanently borrowing your video doorbell. As usual with such devices, you get a chime module that pairs with your video doorbell and then sends out a chime when the doorbell is pressed. This comes with a type A plug that is mostly used in US and Canada. So if you're going to use it elsewhere, you're going to need a converter, although it is compliant with 110 to 240 volts, so it should not be an issue. Plus the obligatory quick start guide and instruction manual, both of which are very good, even if they're written by ants. Before you start, I would strongly suggest that you charge your video doorbell, although it should come with approximately 75% of charge. Slide down the battery cover to reveal the batteries and plug into a micro USB cable and the other end to a standard USB charger and leave for about an hour. This is not the time it usually takes, but it will ensure that you are at 100%. This will not only prolong your batteries, but while configuring, you will want to test the device. So this will make sure that you start with 100% when mounted. When charging your device, you need to remember to remove the two battery isolation tabs located at the bottom of the batteries that will prevent the discharge of batteries while in storage. If you forget these, then as soon as you remove the charging cable, the device will power down. Setup of the device could not be simpler. Toya has been doing some great work in simplifying this process. Firstly, you'll need to prepare your video doorbell. Press and hold the reset button on the back of the device for 5 seconds. You'll hear a message confirming the device has been reset, followed by a message that the device is now in pairing mode. Now make sure your phone is on the 2.4 GHz network. The Toya app will ask you in the pairing process, so best to start out the right way. Press the plus button in the top right hand corner. In the left hand menu, select the electrical section. Scroll down to the wireless doorbell Wi-Fi and select. Confirm that you are on the 2.4 GHz range and press next. Press confirm indicator is flashing. Now select the blink slowly. You'll be asked if you want to join a smart life connection. Press join. The smart video doorbell will be connected to Toya. So at this point now you can change the name using the pencil to the right of the name and place into a specific room. Once happy, press done. A live feed from the video doorbell will be displayed. Now connecting the chime module is super simple but you do need to follow the instructions exactly. Make sure you have already completed the video doorbell connection and that you, when you press the doorbell, it connects to your phone and gives you a preview. Now plug in your chime module. Using the button on the left hand side, cycle through the 52 different chimes and select one that you'd like. With the video doorbell displaying the preview, press and hold the volume button on the right hand side for five seconds or until the tune symbol on the front of the chime module lights up. You should now hear a sound and the two are now connected. You can test this by pressing the doorbell and the chime should now sound. While you're there pressing the doorbell, why not subscribe and ding that notification bell to be notified of when similar content becomes available on the channel. And we're done. Your video doorbell is now fully configured inside of Toya. Insulation could not be simpler for either the temporary or the permanent mounting. If you are permanently mounting, then use the included screws and raw plugs and mount the housing through the three mounting holes. Just remember the larger side of the housing is the top. If you prefer a more temporary mounting, then use the included large double-sided foam sticker. Secure to the back of the housing and affixed to your desired location. 
making sure the area is cleaned to allow for good adhesion. For the installation of the video doorbell, slide the top in first, then the bottom. Now use one of the small black screws and the included Allen key, and yes this bit is fiddly, screw in the anti-theft screw into the bottom of the housing. This will prevent somebody from walking away with your doorbell. If you have relocated your door chime after testing, you'll need to run through the same pairing process again, as it does not have a battery backup. And you're done. You now have successfully installed your video doorbell. As the video doorbell is a Toyo device, it will become available through your standard Toyo integration. I'm not going to go into the whole debate of local over cloud and simply assume that you have the Toyo integration already installed. Just remember that in the latest version of Home Assistant, the Toyo integration is now super simple, so I'd highly recommend you move across to that version. I'll put a link in the description on how to set this up, but this now literally takes seconds. To see your new doorbell, navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, search for and select the Toyo integration. Press the three dots to the right of your email address and press reload. Once reloaded, press the devices underneath your email and search for your device. Now select your doorbell. You will now be presented with the configuration of the doorbell that you can control within Home Assistant. I would recommend that you control the video doorbell through the Toyo app unless you have a specific case. Now we hit the issue. When you press the doorbell button, there are no entity changes made within Home Assistant. From what I read, this is systematic of Toyo doorbell's functionality, so it's not related to this doorbell, but all such Toyo doorbells. I'll put some links in the description to related articles for possible workarounds for this, but this involves flashing code onto your doorbell, and as such, invalidates the warranty, so do this at your own risk. Now what we can do is actually see the doorbell live feed from within Home Assistant. On the sensors, press Add to Dashboard, select your dashboard, and press Next. At this time, you can pick a different card if you require. I'm happy with the suggested one. Press Add to Dashboard. Navigate across to your dashboard. The card will show the last snapshot that was taken. You can view the live feed by clicking on the card. Your network and internet connection will determine the lag, but for me, this is in the order of a few seconds. Video quality, while not amazing, was adequate for viewing a person's face, but the frame refresh was very good. So that's the ZemiSmart V30 video doorbell, available for a very reasonable 59 US. And until the 17th of February, to celebrate Chinese New Year, has a further 15% off by using the discount code ZMSP15. So that's $50 for a limited time only. Links in the description. If you're looking for a video doorbell with no frills that works out of the box, can be integrated with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and partially to Home Assistant, then this might be the device for you. No, you don't get on-device local storage, AI face detection, dual cameras, etc., but you get the basics, super cheap and running quickly. Let me know in the comments which video doorbell you have, and would you recommend it, and why? We'll follow up on this video with some more home security videos, totally at the other end of the scale. So if you want to be notified of when that video comes out, then hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. Until the next one, I hope you never miss a delivery man again.